common cause of shoulder pain is impingement syndrome. This can be caused by bursitis, bone spurs, AC joint arthritis, or tears of the biceps tendon. If rest, activity modification, or physical therapy do not cure the pain, then surgery may be needed. The surgery can be performed with an arthroscope, an instrument with a tiny camera on the end that can be inserted through small incisions around the shoulder. This type of surgery makes the recovery relatively easy. A small soft tissue pouch called a bursa covers the rotator cuff tendon and protects it from injury. If that bursa becomes inflamed or worn out, the tendon can become damaged and cause pain. Pain can also be caused by bone spurs growing over the rotator cuff tendons. Your surgeon will look inside the shoulder joint to make sure all the other structures are normal. Then remove the injured rotator cuff bursa and any bone spurs that may be irritating the rotator cuff. The AC joint is a small joint at the end of the collarbone where it meets the shoulder blade. The AC joint can become arthritic and cause pain. The treatment for this is rest, activity modification, ice, heat, and even a steroid injection. Surgery for AC joint arthritis can be considered if all other treatments fail, which can be done arthroscopically. Your surgeon will remove the degenerated tissue in the AC joint as well as a small portion of the end of the collarbone. Repetitive activities can cause a lot of stress on the biceps tendon, which can cause tears in the tendon. This usually causes pain that starts in the shoulder and radiates down the front of the arm. Biceps tears can be treated by reattaching the biceps tendon outside of the shoulder joint, or simply releasing the tendon if it is too badly damaged for repair. In order for you to make an informed decision, you need to understand the benefits, the risks, and the alternatives to surgery. The benefit to surgery is pain relief, but in some cases, the pain will not be completely eliminated. The most common risks are persistent pain, loss of some shoulder motion, and biceps muscle deformity. Rare risks include infection, vein clot, permanent loss of shoulder function, stroke, and nerve or blood vessel injury. Alternatives to surgery include physical therapy and activity modifications. Repeat cortisone injections can be done, but after too many, the risk of tendon injury does increase. On the day of your surgery, you will want to wear comfortable clothes, including a button-up shirt that will be easy to put on after your surgery. Upon arrival, you will change into a gown and receive an IV. Both nurses and physicians will perform safety checks by repeatedly asking you to state your name and other basic information as well as asking you to mark the shoulder that will be repaired. Though this may seem repetitive, rest assured that it is for your safety. You will then be given a nerve block to control pain during and after the procedure. During the surgery, you will remain completely asleep and will wake up in a recovery room. After surgery, patients are able to go home the same day. Someone will need to drive you home and stay with you overnight. You will leave with your arm in a sling, and your surgeon will let you know when it is safe to take it off. Patients can use their arms for waist level activity within a week. Total recovery will take three to six months of rehabilitation. If you have any other questions or concerns, do not hesitate to discuss them with your surgeon.